Today I'm going to show you how to put together a roll of frame scroll frame. There are two sets of components, the sidebars, which have holes in them to hold the rollers, and the sidebars are held together by wing nuts and bolts. On one side, there is also a magnet, which is on the front to hold your needles. The ends are color-coded so you know which ones go together, and on the other end they have a number for the size. The 8-inch bars are the only ones that only have one hole in them for the rollers, but they are the same otherwise. The rollers also have a size written on the ends of them and are color coded as well so that you know which pairs match together. You always want to keep a like color with like. When you get these, they'll be rubber banded so that they'll keep the pairs together, so just pull the rubber bands off. To prepare the bars, unscrew the wing nuts and separate the bars. These will take a little bit of doing because they're fairly tight when you get them brand new, um, and then just grab both ends and kind of pull them apart. As with all bolts, if you try to do one end and the other, they tend to get kind of stuck. And then make sure as you're setting them aside that you keep light color with light. So keep the red with the red, the black with the black. Now undo the rollers. There are two parts to the roller, one part that has the holes and the other with the brads. Keep in mind these brads are very sharp. Do not put your fingers on top of them because you might actually poke yourself and they can cause you to bleed. So just be cautious. So lay out your set so that you've got your rollers to the top and bottom, your sidebars to the side, and get your fabric ready. I fold my fabric in half so that I can start at the middle and work my way from side to side. So I've just pinched it off screen, bringing it back to my uh, rollers, and then I'm going to start in the middle. Um, I start with the very middle brad, and then what I do is push it over the brad, and then walk it to the left in this case. I keep it taut as I do that so that I don't end up with excess fabric in between the brads. And then do the same on the other side, stretch it a bit as you go, so that you actually keep it tight while you're doing this. You don't want to end up with wrinkles in the fabric. You notice there are creases, but for this test example, I'm not that worried about it. Then lay the other half of the roller on top that's got the holes in it. Now do the same with the other end. Fold it in half. Lay it on the roller uh, with the brad's face up. Push it down in the middle. Pull it tight to the side and walk your way to the end. Now that I'm all the way done, I can put the bottom part on. Now I roll my work so that it is face up, and that's so that if I drop it, um, I don't actually have the facing of my work actually ever touching the ground or the table or anything. So I'm setting this up on the table so that my uh, roller bar on the side is going to be with the bolts facing down. That's because that's the back of the roller, the, well actually the back of the bar and then I'm just going to roll this up. And I roll it on the table once I get it started because I find it's easier to keep pressure on it. Now lay the roller. You see that there are slots in the bars and there are slots in the rollers. They align in the bars. Hold the roller bar with your hand. Don't let go. And what will happen is, is you won't find that the roller will undo itself. So as long as you're keeping pressure on the bar, um, it's keeping pressure on the rollers, and the rollers will actually not unroll. And then put the wing nuts on and tighten the wing nuts. And then do the same with the other side. And you'll notice that um, I made sure that when I lay this down on the table that I matched up my rods with color to color and my bars with color to color. So now that I'm done with one side and I've finished the other, I can put the wing nuts on and then we'll be ready for the next set. Now I actually don't tighten these completely. Um, at this point I'm tightening them just enough so that they stop moving because I'm actually going to continue to try to get in the work tightened. I've just gotten it into the frame but it's not really tight yet at this point. So I'm going to loosen the wing nuts on the top. I'm um, Just loosen them enough that the roller will move and you can see that I can actually move the roller forward. Now I'm rolling my work towards the front, uh, and so um, I'm going to get as much play out of this as I can. This is going to take several times to do this. Don't assume that you're going to be able to do this once and have it completely done. Also depends on how tight you want it to be. The tighter the, that you want it, the more often you're, you're probably going to have to do this, particularly as you work, and particularly once I start losing my wing nuts. 
So just tighten the wing nuts down. See if that gives you the tightness that you want. And then if you need to do the bottom, you can do the bottom as well. Now, because there's more fabric in the bottom roller, I'm going to try to get the play out of that. So you notice I take my hands, push them towards the back, and that moves the excess fabric. And then I can roll the roller towards me. So hand pushes fabric towards the back, then the hand pulls the roller itself towards me. Then I can tighten it down and see how tight it is. You'll never get it drum tight. That's just not the purpose of a scroll frame. For that you need something that can hold all four sides, so something like a slate frame. But for most purposes this is fine. You'll always get a little bit of play in the fabric on the edges. This is especially true as you do your stitching because the stitching will provide extra bulk in the middle and there won't be any at the edge and so you'll find that the edges are always a bit looser. But don't worry about that. This is perfectly fine and perfectly normal. So I just keep tightening my wing nuts till I make sure they're as tight as I need them to be and I've also gotten as much play out of the fabric as I want. The edges are a little bit um, wobbly but not that much which is fine. And now I'm ready to move on to my next step which is stitching. If you find that the wing nuts are really hard for your hands to tighten, which is the case for many people, then I recommend one of two options. One option is Case Creations makes a miniature version of their tri knobs and they fit the roller frame uh, rollers, they fit the bolts, and they also fit the bolts for the Easy Stitch uh, scroll frame system. Easy Stitch uses the uh, wood knobs with a brass insert, which have a tendency to strip out. Um, that doesn't happen with the plastic because the plastic is really bonded to the metal insert that's in there, so I've never had one of the inserts in these strip out. They are also a deeper um, item to hold than the wing nut, so there's more surface area for your fingers to do the tightening. I just happen to find that these work really well. The other advantage is, is when you put all four of them on here, because the tri knob is flat on the back, um, you can actually sit it on the table and be completely flat. The other option is uh, Roller Frame actually makes a little wing nut tool. It's a little piece of wood with a hole in it, um, which is, accommodates the bolt, and it's got grooves in it to fit around the wing nut. Place it over the wing nut and tighten it. And you can tighten it with both hands because there's enough of it that you can actually do it with either one hand or with two. You can get quite a lot of play out of the wing nuts just by doing this that you cannot do if you do this by hand. So those are the other two options uh, if you don't want to just do the wing nuts on their own. So we've got the K's miniature tri knobs and we've got the wing nuts that come with the product. Either one's fine, and if you want to use just the ring nuts and need a tightener, then there's a little wing nut tightener you can get as well. And now you're all set. So then you can take and put your needles on your magnet, and you're all ready for stitching. Just retighten the bolts and retighten the rollers as you need to, uh, and you'll be ready to go. Happy stitching! <laughs>